All right, we're here in Harwinton on our tour of 41 towns in 41 days. I'm here with my friend Lori Barrett, running for state representative. Lori, thank you for coming along today. You're welcome. Uh, I got to tell you, as we were walking back uh, from today's uh, uh, door knocking, I, I sort of remarked to you this was one of the most intellectually stimulating door knocks that uh, I've had. We ran into a bunch of really thoughtful people, um, starting with a, a woman who was unemployed, really wanted to talk about some of the obstacles that she's seen as she's been looking for employment. She talked about the fact that her credit score credit score is becoming a barrier to getting employed and the problem is it's it's, a, it's basically a downward spiral the longer that she's unemployed the worse her credit score gets and the less likely she is to get a job and it's something that you know I really want to look a little bit farther into at the federal level um, and we finished talking to a guy who wanted to talk about sort of building competitiveness in the government and you know we had a little bit of a back and forth because there's some things that government has no competitor in like taking care of the disabled but we can certainly do a better job of building competition within government and particularly within government employees and, and that's something that you and I have been talking about as we were walking around, right? Yes, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think that we need to um, see what we can do to build the competitiveness between the employees that, that we have now, whether it's on the school side. Um, our teachers do need to be paid well. They are the future of our um, of our towns and our cities. Um, in the meantime, we have to balance that with how we can uh, support the senior citizens and how are we going to fund education properly. Uh, so I think that's a challenge for all of us to be tackling. Well, and one of the things people want to make sure is that their taxpayer dollars are being you know, used well. And one of the ways we can do that is to build in some merit incentives for, for employees, whether it be teachers or whether it be uh, uh, you know, other non-education employees to make sure that if you're doing a really good job, you get rewarded for that. That's what happens in the private sector, and you know, I think that taxpayers expect that that's how their public dollars will be used as well. Absolutely. Uh, Lori, thank you for joining us uh, here in uh, Harwinton uh, on a busy road uh, on our tour of 41 towns in 41 days.